let me ask that a, a slightly similar but different way. Sure. Based on everything being announced today, yeah. can this administration guarantee that holiday packages will arrive on time? We are not the Postal Service or UPS or FedEx. Uh, we cannot guarantee. What we can do is use every lever at the federal government disposal to reduce uh, delays, to ensure that we are uh, addressing bottlenecks in the system, including uh, ports and the, the need for them to be open longer hours so that goods can arrive. Uh, and we can continue to press uh, not only uh, workers and, and unions, but also companies to take as many steps as they can to reduce these delays. And on the companies aspect of this, um, th there's just a, a few lines about what exactly Walmart is committing to today. Uh, they're increasing use of nighttime hours significantly in projects they could increase their uh, throughput by yep. as much as 50% in the next several, several weeks. This is a company that was frequently maligned during the Democratic presidential primary uh, is paying workers uh, pretty bad wages in the view of those that were running. Um, did the administration seek any assurances from Walmart that these changes won't affect their store workers or that there might be some kind of either pay raise or other labor assurances for those that are going to have to work these extra hours? I think you're very familiar, Ed, with where the president stands on the minimum wage. Uh, the fact that it's long overdue to increase the minimum wage, something that he has been quite vocal about for a range of companies. Uh, it is also true that we recognize that uh, families, people across the country, are purchasing, uh, whether they're toys or uh, gifts or just household goods, from a range of, um, of suppliers, including Walmart. And we are working to ease the burden on them at the same time. But we are not taking our foot off the gas pedal of pressing for an increase in the minimum wage for, and for companies to do the right thing. Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. Um, you guys have had this task force since June. There was the executive order uh, back in February. Um, you've been talking about how the president's been on top of this for months, but it seems to get a lot worse before it's gotten better. Uh, and often pointing to the pandemic as being a contributing factor. We've been in the pandemic for a year and a half now. So, so why did it take until today to get these kinds of commitments that we're seeing from uh, the various groups that are here with the president today? Well, I will say that we have had, maybe everybody wasn't here for this, but we have had the chairs of our uh, supply chain task force in here at least twice to provide updates on the work that has been ongoing on the, under this administration. One of those issues has certainly been ensuring that there aren't bottlenecks at ports, but there are a lot of other issues that we've been working to address in the global supply chain. Uh, one of them has certainly been uh, the increase uh, in the vulnerabilities in our food system, uh, and something that we've seen impact some communities across the country and impact the price of goods sometimes when people go to the grocery store. That's one of the reasons the president pressed for uh, more competition, why Secretary of uh, Secretary uh, uh, Vilsack has been focused on this as one of his primary issues, one of the reasons we announced the food supply chain loan guarantee program. And I would certainly say that over the course of the last several months, when people go to the grocery store and they're trying to buy a pound or two pounds, five pounds, however big their family is, of meat, that's an issue that has been impacting them nearly every single day. We also know that there are issues in the supply chain as it relates um, to to, um, uh, to housing and the cost of housing across the country. That's one of the reasons the president has been so focused and the supply chain task force has been focused and there's money also in some of his proposals he signed into law to address that issue, to reduce the cost of lumber and make sure that that is available so that new, built, new houses can be built and we can address the housing shortage and address housing prices. So I would say for average people sitting at home, they're not focused just on the port. Of course they are. They're focused on getting their goods, but they're focused on the cost of goods. They're focused on how much meat costs. They're focused on uh, what their checkbook looks like. And we've been working to address each of those issues in the supply chain uh, from the beginning of this administration. 